Hi, I'm Kathy Gardner and I'm Scott Weaver. And together we've put together a wonderful compilation of some of our favorite recipes. Yep, recipes that have been handed down to us from our family members to things that we've discovered over the years we love and our families love as well. And we're hoping you do too. Everything from New Year's to Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Join us. Hi, and welcome to the April chapter of Holiday Recipes for a Family Affair. They always say April showers bring May flowers. I've got my apron on that has some flowers here, but if it's a little rainy outside, there's nothing more comforting than deviled eggs, classic deviled eggs. Now, everyone has maybe their own recipe for it. This particular recipe has been handed down, and my whole family likes it, and my husband and son like them especially. Like, I try and make six eggs, which will make a dozen eggs, but they're almost always gone, so I have to do another batch. But I'll show you how I make my classic deviled eggs, and you can read along with you the recipe that's in your book, Holiday Recipes. So first, of course, you have to boil the eggs. And again, there are all kinds of different ways to boil the eggs. What I found that works best is if I take the cold eggs out of the refrigerator and just warm them up a little bit. And then put them in the pan, cover the, um, all the eggs um, about two inches above, and turn it on the fire underneath the medium-high heat let them boil. As soon as they boil, turn off that heat, cover them, and let them just sit for about 12 to 13 minutes. And then you've got your eggs. Drain them, put them in cold water, and then they're ready to peel. Now, this egg has been in the refrigerator for a while, so you and I are going to see if it's going to be peeled okay. First, you can crack it and then roll it a little bit. That helps the peel come off a little easier. So let's see if this egg is going to be peeled nicely or if it's going to raise its shell head and say, no, I'm not going to cooperate. So far, so good. Usually when I uh, peel the eggs, I like to do it under the cold water and I can get the membrane of the egg like right away and it's much easier to peel. Well, I guess you could say this was a good egg. So this good egg is going to join um, its brothers and sisters. And what you can do after you peel the eggs is put them in the refrigerator just for about 15 minutes. And then that helps set the egg yolk itself. So uh, once you've done that, you can cut them in half. And then just, there, perfect little egg, just pop those yolks right into a dish easiest to do is pop them all out. <laughs> Mine's made of Popeye. So there they go. So then once you have all of the egg yolks in a dish, you can take a fork and mash those babies up and make sure they're, they're mashed to the degree. Some people like chunkier uh, yolks. Some people um, like them really mashed up, but as long as the joke's not on you, oh, that's yolk, they're fine. So I'm still going to mash them a little bit more. You know, you can have deviled eggs in, in the morning and just take a hard-boiled egg and cut it in half and put a little mayonnaise or salt on it, and that's no trouble at all, and it's a nice, good way to uh, eat your eggs. So once you have mashed up the yolks, then a little Dijon. I love Dijon. I know some people don't uh, like Dijon, but I happen to love it. Some people will put ground mustard in their deviled eggs. Some people will just put some vinegar. But I like to put a little Dijon for a wonderful flavor. And so that goes right in there. And then a little garlic salt with parsley is a nice addition to however salty you would like it. I like to use white pepper, not the dark pepper, because it's a little gentler flavor, especially for eggs. I do love dill in many things, and I like it in eggs too. Uh, tuna fish is good for dill. 
but I like to put a little dill in my eggs. And then um, we have chopped chives that I have chopped up. And, oops, well, it's a good thing it's not salt. Otherwise, I'd throw it over my shoulder and make a wish. Three tablespoons of mayonnaise uh, makes a good consistency. So once you have all these ingredients together, you just mix them up, mix it up gently, because you don't, now that the egg yolks are smashed, you don't want to smash them up too much. So you just keep mixing and mixing. If you find that you like them a little bit more moist, add a little more mayonnaise. But you just keep going and, and mixing them up. And this needs all the chives in there now. So all the chives go in with all the other ingredients. And then they will be ready to be put back into their eggshell boats and sail away into your mouth. Okay. I do make this up as I go along, but here we go. Not the recipes. The recipes are tried and true, just the banter. So, now some people also put their, um, the, this mash up into a pastry bag or just a plastic bag with a uh, corner uh, cut off if you want to pipe them in. Otherwise, take a very small spoon and you can just do this, and then you fill up the eggs, like that. You can take some of these living chives for another decor, and then just take whole pieces of the chives, snip them off, and decorate them like this. And I'm going to let you imagine what all these eggs look like with their filling inside. Have a wonderful April. Thanks for joining us and see you next chapter.